in this model i have requested for the force and displacement response of this particular end and the force displacement response in the history output is recorded in the results so if i look at the force response in this particular direction that looks like this and I can see this uh, force curve over time is uh, piecewise. This is somewhat uh, reasonable, but in some cases you could have this curve such that there is a straight line and only maybe two or three lines that comprise this particular curve. So if you are interested to have a smooth curve, you have to make sure of several things that I am going to show you now. So how many points you have here as these uh, results come from the history output. So first we will look into the history output. Uh, and it says that uh, I want the output or the points in the curve at every n increment and n is equal to one. That means every increment I will have one point. If this is the setting I have at history output, so note that it is important to know how many increments I have in the step or in the step one. So if in step one, I have about 100 increments. So that means 100 points of this force response will be recorded in the history output. So once I have this particular settings, next thing I have to check that how many increments I actually have in step one. So let's go ahead and check that. So step one, so inside I will go to incrementation and uh, here actually for this particular curve, I know that the maximum incrementation was 0 0.1. So if I, in incrementation, if I make the maximum incrementation size to be 0 0.01 and uh, as my step time is one second, so I will need 100 of this maximum incrementation to reach to one second. So each increment is 0 0.01. So next increment uh, uh, time would be 0 0.02. Next one is 0 0.03. And I need total 100 incrementation to reach my step time. On side note, I should say that uh, by this particular setting, it makes sure that I will have at least 100 uh, increments and by that at least 100 points in my force versus time curve. It could be even more, but I will have at least 100. So if it is what you want, so you can set your initial and maximum to be like that. So of course the maximum is the one which dictates how many increments at least you should have. Uh, also note that by default this number is 100. So please put a couple of zero because it doesn't hurt. It, it can only help to prevent your job from throwing up errors. So once I have these settings and uh, if I run this particular job again, as the number of increment is higher, this job actually took a bit longer to complete. But now I can see it is successfully completed. So I will right click result. And now in result uh, in this uh, job name, history output inside, I will see the force response and this time I can see this force response is more smooth compared to what we had earlier and this all happened because we have edited uh, our in, into our history output and as well as into the step.